everyone, in this video I will give a brief introduction to the nervous system. And the nervous system is the control center and main communication system of the body. So the nervous system is the system that allows the body to connect with the brain, the part of the body that controls the body. The nerves of the nervous system are like wires that transmit electric signals across the body. So the nervous system is divided into two parts, the central nervous system, and the peripheral nervous system. So the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is like this long nerve over here that originates at the brain and goes down to the bottom of the body over here. And the next part is the peripheral nervous system. And the peripheral nervous system is made up of the nerves and the ganglia. And we'll talk more about the ganglia. Okay. So, the, now the most nerves originate at the spinal cord, they start at the spinal cord, and they will end at some organ. And the, these nerves are called spinal nerves. Then some nerves originate at the brain. They are called cranial nerves. Now, most nerves are spinal nerves. So, now let's talk about the building blocks of the nerves. So, this is what we call a neuron. And a neuron is a building block of a nerve. And there are three parts of a neuron. The first part is the cell body. And the cell body makes the neuron a cell. So, it consists of a cell membrane, uh, some cytoplasm, and a nucleus. And if you don't remember, the cytoplasm is the jelly like substance that holds the, the stuff in the cell together. The nucleus is like the control center of the cell, and the cell membrane is the protective layer of the cell. So the next part is the dendrites, and the dendrites receive signals and pass them on to the neuron. And the, an example of this would be, say this was, this was a neuron, then the signal from this neuron would go straight to this part, it will, and we'll talk more about this part, and it'll get received by the dendrites. Okay, so the next part is the axon, and the axon is this part over here, as we were talking about, and this axon is what will, s will s have the signal pass through, and the signal will pass through the axon all the way to the other neuron. And it will take the signal received by the dendrite and pass it on to the next neuron. It will receive the signal to the dendrites. And the place where the cell body merges with the axon is called the axon hillock. And the end of the axon over here is called the axon terminal. So, the axon sends and receives signals from the cell body to other neurons. So, this part over here is what we call a Schwann cell, these yellow cells. And you can see these orange things which are the nucleus. And that's what makes them the cells. And that's how you know they're cells. And the Schwann cells make up the myelin sheet, which basically insulates the axon and helps the axon transmit signals. And in between the Schwann cells, we have these small orange parts, and those are called the nodes of Ranvier. And the nodes of Ranvier allow the process of saltatory conduction. And saltatory conduction is basically that there's these ion channels in the nodes of Ranvier, and the electrical signal will basically trigger them, and what, what happens when it triggers them is that it'll make the electrical signal jump across the nodes of Randy. And that allows it to go fast. So, that's it for this video and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you can watch my Talmus video over here and my amygdala video over here. Bye!